Welcome to Lucha Pro TV. My name is Joseph Duncan, coming to you from Arena Internacional Florence in the south central section of Los Angeles, California. This contest here between the Midnight Delight, Richie Slade, and, and Hector Canales, who's already got things going. Hector Canales, this week, decided to come out without the mask. I guess he got tired of people uh, poking his eyes, but I'm not really sure I even want to know what's going on here. And uh, you know, Richie Slade getting back into the ring here. The Midnight Delight himself, the hero in black leather. Not difficult at all to tell whose side this crowd is on. This right here, this is what Hector Canales does. He beats you mentally before beating you physically. He gets you all out of sorts, gets you all out of your game plan. And then you have fallen right into his. Alright, so now, get ready. And Kellen will tie up. No, oh, look at this. Quick go behind there by Canales into a waist lock and oh look at this nice reversal there by Richie Slade but uh, using an interesting escape there is Hector Canales and uh, okay uh, no comment Test of strength here as Canales challenging Richie Slade into a Greco Roman knuckle lock there. Now going for the other hand. And I can tell you, heck yeah, I can tell you Hector's a strong dude, but then again, so is Richie Slade. Richie Slade seems to be getting the uh, better of this at the moment. Or is he? Again, Hector, he, he likes to play these mind games, but uh, he, he's definitely got the leverage advantage now. And that's going to put Hector Canales down to his knees and... Uh, look at this now, though. Nice step over there by Canales and... Uh, <laughs> Little, uh, little dance moves here, and uh, okay, up and over goes Canales now, look at this, uh, I don't know that he's really got much to grab there Hector, but uh, off the ropes, wheelbarrow into wherever he wants to drop you pretty much, and Jack and Rose on the bow of the Titanic there, I'm, I'm not really sure what to call that. I think Richie Slade might even be impressed by that. Oh, 
<laughs> Richie Slade here allowing Hector Canelas to take a bow for his performance there and uh, well, good sportsmanship I guess. Takes one more bow, and a very close line right there by Richie Slade. And yeah, now Richie takes his shirt off and goes to work on Hector Canales. I knew there had to be something disingenuous about Richie Slade. He's just not the kind of guy to let somebody else just take a bow and make a fool out of him, really. That Marin, oh, a kick right there in between the shoulder blades. Simple but painful right there. Very debilitating move, and uh, Richie Slade now. Look, look at this, Richie Slade choking him on that bottom rope. Referee putting in the count. Richie Slade is not here for fun and games tonight. Richie Slade. Look at that, driving all his body weight there into the lower back of Hector Canales. And, oh, Hector turning around and almost catching him there. And, uh-oh, <laughs> Richie Slade, he got completely freaked out by that. Hector Canales up to his tricks, as always. Look at this now. Trying to set him up, and yes. Close lining him on that top rope there. Slade now stopping away and now Slade going up and over with a senton. Richie Slade now hooking the leg. We got one. We got maybe maybe a count of two. Maybe not even a count of two on that. From Richie Slade knowing he was nowhere near a count of three. Look at this though. Wrenching back on that neck, pulling him up by the chin, driving that knee right in between the shoulder blades. Not exactly what you would call a comfortable position to be in. Then again, you're not trying to put your opponent in a comfortable position. You're trying to wear the man down and effectively doing so, but Hector Canales feeding out the energy from this crowd like he does, but no. Getting pulled back down there by Richie Slade. Richie Slade maintaining control the entire time there. You know, Richie's not just another uh, pretty face himself. He, he's a pretty talented wrestler. Look at this, Richie Slade springboarding up and no. Big scoop, and I think no. He's got him. He, look for a second like he's going to go for a body slam, maybe even into a tombstone pile driver. Ends up getting nothing out of it, but face first into that top turnbuckle. Goes Richie Slade, and now, oh! Driving his body weight right into the midsection. That will knock the air out of you completely. And a little swivel of the hips. Action there, and once again, driving his body weight into the midsection, and uh, you're not going to find too many more entertaining professional wrestlers to watch than Hector Canales. <laughs> Canales now, though, oh, he gets caught and gets put down hard by Richie Slade, and then a kick to the side of the head. Richie Slade, hook the leg. We got one. We got two, though. Hector Canales in bad shape at the moment here. Richie Slade needs to keep on top of him. You can't give this guy even a moment's rest. You do so, it will come back to bite you. <laughs> Perhaps literally. Once again, driving his knee into the back right there in between the shoulder blades. Simple but effective on the part of Richie Slade, and now Richie looking to make the man humble. 
looking to possibly break his back. Looking to, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna say anymore. The simple camel clutch there. Pulling back on his chin. Extremely painful maneuver, but uh, once again, Hector Canales feeding off the energy of this crowd. Hector Canales trying to get the crowd behind him. The more they get behind him, the more energy this man has. And look at this big swinging elbows right there to the midsection. But oh my goodness, getting pounded right there by Richie Slade. Face first into the top turnbuckle goes Richie Slade. Cadell is now springboarding up. Uh, look at this. Dug in a clothesline, coming back now. Nice flying forearm there by Canales and a clothesline. Measuring the man and hitting on another clothesline. Waiting for him to get into position. Hector Canales now has him set up. Inverted atomic drop. Has him set up now and oh, a more traditional atomic drop. Extremely painful from either angle there. Hector Canales now, Hector Canales filling it, Hector Canales gonna go to work on Richie Slade, Hector Canales bombing away on Richie Slade and boom! <laughs> oh boy. Canelo's take a little bit too much time there. That allows Richie Slade to get his foot up. Richie Slade now, Irish whip and a reversal. Look at this, Luthez Press. Doesn't have the shoulders down though, but he goes and starts hammering away at Richie Slade. And yeah, some jokes just write themselves there. Canelo is hammering away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that alone. Canales now, look at this, Canales dropping him on the back of his head but now maintaining control and who knows what he has in store. I know Richie Slade's not going to like it. Oh my goodness. Driving those knees right there to the inner thigh that will uh, stretch out that groin area and Again, I want to be careful how I state that, but I mean, that, that is, in fact, what he did. Going to set him up now for a tombstone. He's got him set up, but no, Richie Slade managing to escape. But look at that hard forearm shot there by Slade. Slade now going up to the top, but no, he gets caught. He gets caught by Hector Canales, and now... Both men going up to the high red district. Both men exchanging shots up on that second and top rope. Very dangerous situation for both men to be in, quite honestly. What, what, what the hell? Did, did, did I just, did, did I just? Okay. To question our friendship now. Canales up on the top rope. Hector Canales coming forward. Oh my goodness, kids. Hit hard with that shot to the midsection as he came off the top rope. Richie Slade see that coming. Richie Slade now tornado D D T hooks a leg. One, two, three. No. Only a count of two. Hector Canales getting his shoulder up. Microseconds before the count of three. Richie Slade now stumbling back to his feet. Slade getting ready to finish this man off. Again, that's maybe something else I should probably watch what I'm saying there. 
What I'm saying is he, he he's getting ready to beat this man. No, no, no. Shut up, Joseph. Elbows right there to the side of the head. Oh, look at this. Oh, I thought he was going to go for that. You're a nagi, but uh, nice takeover right there by Canales. Going to set him up for slice bread, but no. He gets caught. He gets caught. Richie Slade. Tombstone pile driver right there in the center of the ring. I believe that is going to be it. We got one, two, three. Your winner here at Lucha Pro, Hector Canales. Everyone gets depressed on occasion, but if your feelings of depression have turned to thoughts of suicide, you need to talk with someone. You are not alone. Help is available. Call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline anytime. It's free and it's confidential. If you're enjoying the show and want to see even more content from Black Leather Crew Productions, consider supporting us on Patreon or Subscribestar. Los Angeles, California, for this Lucha Pro Tag Team Championship match. The champions, Vintage Dragon and Caden Anthony, the Starbucks, along, of course, with Lady Vane there on the outside, taking on Zocre, the Phoenix Star, Los Luchas. Colin will tie up right here, and Vintage Dragon. Well, not really sure which one. Actually, at the moment, Vintage Dragon does have the advantage, but as I say that, he gets pushed out of the corner there. And looks to be uh, pretty even. Actually, both men going down to their knees now. While the Cullen Elbow is still engaged, both men rolling outside the ring. Cullen Elbow is still engaged here. And uh, this is uh, one hell of a lockup, so much it's going out to the damn audience. Uh, to be quite honest, I don't think I've seen a Colin Elbow lockup quite like this, where it's going all around the damn arena. It's going all over Arena Internacional here in uh, Los Angeles. And getting, looks like they're going to get back into the ring. Uh, Vintage Dragon going over the top there, but uh, the Colin Elbow still not broken until right there. Knee lift to the midsection, going to try to suplex him in, and he does so. Well, that was a hell of a lockup, and now, look at this, from behind, Caden Anthony now going to get involved, and uh, all four, well, I was going to say all four men in the ring, but actually now, both members of Los Luchas sit to the outside. Look at this, double vertical suplex. Gotta come right here. One, two, no. Big scoop and a body slam there in the center of the ring. That tag's gonna bring in Caden Anthony now. Off the ropes and look at that double team maneuver right there. And then standing frog splash. We gotta cover one, two, no. I believe that is uh, Phoenix Star there in the ring, or uh, Zokre, getting ready to break up that. Look at that drop kick to the back of the head. We got a cover, we got one, we got two, no. Caden Anthony 
going to work now as uh, Vintage Dragon in the ring. Uh, look at this, just trying to taunt and doing so. Got a tag and going back to the stomping of the mud hole. Another tag and once again, oh look at this though. Oh my goodness, getting caught with a big clothesline there. Vintage Dragon saw Zokre coming in and Zokre going to the outside there. That's going to allow Vintage Dragon, look at this. It's been quite a while since I've seen Vintage Dragon get this vicious on somebody. Backbreaker right there by Caden Anthony. Then up and over with a guillotine leg drop by Vintage Dragon. Now hooks the inside leg. One, two, no. Not enough to keep Phoenix Star down. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the Lucha Pro Tag Team Championship. Double! Russian leg sweep there. Maybe you call that a double shot by the Starbucks, but uh, Zokra's had about enough, and he's going to go to work on both of them, but oh my goodness, he gets taken over by both members of the Starbucks. I should say both active members in the ring. Look at this, diving to the outside, and now up and over goes Caden Anthony, the Starbucks taking out both members of Los Luchas. I think Vintage Dragon, yeah, Vintage Dragon has somebody's bag there. Look at this. Vintage Dragon putting that bag on and, uh... Now, uh, both Los Luchas get tossed into the ring. Starbucks following uh, up. Double team maneuver right now. Look at this. To the outside and... Action is fast and furious here. It's hard to tell really which member of uh, Los Luchas is in the ring. But look at this. Catching him on the way and nice. Lake scissor takedown and up and over goes. I believe that is uh, Zokre. Caden Anthony now into the corner. Kitten Anthony catching a splash. Nice double team maneuvers here by Los Luchas. Look at this. Double 619. Again, I believe you would call that a, what, a 12, like a 1238. We got a cover. We got one. We got two. No. Almost new Lucha Pro Tag Team Champions there. I stated earlier both active members of uh, the Starbucks as uh, Lady Vane, of course, considered a not a valet. She is a third member of the Starbucks. But look at this. Nice takedown right there. We got tag team maneuver here. Look at this. Oh, he, oh Vintage Dragon catches him. Look at that. Blockbuster into a lung blower. Looks like we got one. We got two. Kidding Anthony breaking up the pin and saving the Lucha Pro Tag Team titles. Zokre there getting into an argument with the referee. At this point, I'm, I'm not even sure which members are legal. Technically, under the rules of Lucha Libre, as long as one man is in the ring, that makes him the legal man. Uh, Caden Anthony there, catching himself on the ring apron, but catches that kick right there. Zokre now off the top. Zokre faking the dive there, but look at this. Dive to the outside right there by Phoenix Star. Now Zokre in the ring. Phoenix Star making sure both men are standing as Zokre goes up and over, taking out. The Starbucks to the outside, and Los Luchas in complete control of this Lucha Pro Tag Team Championship match. Los Luchas, of course, no strangers 
to holding tag team titles. They've been the EWF Tag Team Champions as the Empire Wrestling Federation out of uh, San Bernardino. I believe they are the current UIWA Tag Team Champions and uh, former NWA World Tag Team Champions. Now look at this going. Acai Moonsault, but nobody home now off the top. Frog Splash, nobody home there for Kid and Anthony diving it right there and uh, what the hell, let's everybody miss. Everybody go up, everybody jump, everybody miss. Six Star Swanton, nobody home. All four men swinging and striking out. Crowd here in LA getting behind Los Luchas, which is kind of odd seeing as how they're usually behind the Starbucks. But of course, Los Luchas, a longtime fan favorite here in LA. So maybe not that much of a surprise. Big scoop at body slams to both members in the ring of the Starbucks. Both members of Los Luchas going up to the top. Los Luchas, now look at this on the outside, Lady Vane. Super kick. And takes out Phoenix Star, but now Zokre fighting. Perhaps one of three, Lady Vane is in the ring. She is not an active competitor in this match. She has made herself active by getting involved. Pushing Phoenix Star off the top row. Look at this! Double super kick by the Starbucks. I believe they're gonna set him up. They got him up now. Trick shot power bomb. Look at this referee. One, two, three. Winners and still Lucha Pro Tag Team Champions Vintage Dragon and Kaden Anthony the Starbucks. Give a big assist to Lady Vane there on the outside. Lady Vane definitely paying dividends in this contest. As you see the belts being distributed there, of course, got the uh, OC Dragonweight title, which uh, also belongs to Vintage Dragon. Your winners and still champions, the Starbucks. My name is Mark Hyacin, and in honor and in love of my mother, a survivor since 1992, I founded Men Against Breast Cancer. Men Against Breast Cancer is the nation's first and only nonprofit whose mission is to empower, to educate men to be effective caregivers when breast cancer strikes one that they love. Join our team at menagainstbreastcancer.org.